All right, guys. So as rumors swirl about Nancy Pelosi potentially being on the way out in 2022 because she is considering retiring uh, if the GOP uh, wins back the House, it seems that she may be getting a whole lot of backlash from Republicans and Democrats on the way out, right? And this time, the, the backlash against Pelosi involves her controversial stock trading, right? Because apparently uh, Pelosi or the Pelosi's, Paul Pelosi plus Nancy Pelosi, they trade better than hedge fund managers, right? They are the wolves of uh, Washington, okay? When it comes to trading stocks, right? They should open up their own asset management company. They really should, okay? As Nancy Pelosi has made millions of dollars trading stocks during this pandemic, and that has come under a microscope as it just doesn't really look good, right? It doesn't look good for somebody like Nancy Pelosi, who's a member of Congress, to be making millions and millions of dollars off of stock trades that seem to be very, very, very well-timed, right? Especially considering uh, how much Nancy Pelosi knows about what's going on in Congress and legislation that could affect the market and individual industries and companies. So Nancy Pelosi uh, was called out on this recently about Congress members stock trading uh, as uh, there was a report that found that a lot of these people in Congress were violating the Stock Act, okay, which is supposed to be legislation to uh, create more transparency around uh, these politicians and the trades they make in Congress. Now, I want to play you guys the clip of Nancy Pelosi addressing the question about uh, whether or not uh, Congress members should be banned from trading stocks that got a whole lot of controversy. Take a look. Should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Um, any, uh, we have a responsibility to report in the stock, uh, on the stock, but I don't, I'm not familiar with that five month review, but if uh, people aren't reporting, they should be. Why should they be banned? Yeah. Because this is a free market and people, we are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. All right, guys. So as you can see that, that's basically Nancy Pelosi defending her corruption. Okay. When asked about whether or not stock trading should be banned, uh, she gave a quick no, right? A real quick no. We all know why she gave a real quick no, because she benefits from it. Okay. Uh, and then asked, okay, well, why? uh not right why, why shouldn't they be banned which is a free market it's a free market okay this is the first time i've ever seen uh nancy pelosi advocate for the free market right uh when it comes to her taking advantage of it making money off of it um and then she was also asked about other congress members uh trading and not properly reporting their trades and she had like she doesn't really know anything about it okay and i'm like you're running the house how can you not know about it it's your job to know about it but quite simply she is not concerned about the whole uh stock trading thing and the ethics behind it because she's participating in it allegedly right in regards to insider trading take advantage of the knowledge that she has as a member of congress so she may be in support of it but the american people are not in support of it. as there was actually a recent poll from the trafalgar group that found that 76 percent of americans that are likely to vote in the general election believe that lawmakers should not be allowed to trade stocks with five percent saying uh, they approve of lawmakers trading stocks and 19% having no opinion. So basically three out of four Americans <laughs> believe that uh, stock trading among lawmakers should be banned, right? So this is an overwhelmingly popular proposal, right? The American people are on board <laughs> with stopping people like Nancy Pelosi from making millions of dollars during a pandemic while the American people suffer, okay? And uh, Kevin McCarthy has picked up on this as he's announced that he is currently considering banning lawmakers from trading stocks if Republicans retake Congress in 2022. Now, this is a part of Kevin McCarthy's little uh, campaign tour for becoming House Speaker in 2022. Remember, guys, I did a um, video yesterday about how Kevin McCarthy said that he would actually remove uh, some Democrats from their committee assignments like Ilhan Omar, Adam Stiff, Eric Swalwell, et cetera, right? In basically retaliation for the Democrats doing the same thing to the GOP. He said he would do that, okay? So Kevin McCarthy is trying to convince the base of the GOP that, hey, I have the cojones to take on the Democrats, right? Look, I'm gonna stop Nancy Pelosi from making millions off trading individual stocks, okay? Which is a popular proposal, right? 
I think most American people are on board with banning Congress members from trading individual stocks, right? So um, Kevin McCarthy is trying to play some chess politically, <laughs> but let's read about his proposal. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said he is considering limiting or barring uh, lawmakers from holding or trading stocks and equities if Republicans win a House majority in November. McCarthy told Punchbowl News that he was considering the changes but had not yet come to any conclusions on what kind of limits or bans would be put in place. Punchbowl News reported that new rules could only let lawmakers hold professionally managed uh, mutual funds or stocks in the kind of companies that are not relevant to the committee work that they do. So in my opinion, I would ban Congress members from uh, trading individual stocks because I think it's unethical. I think there's a conflict of interest there. I think it's very obvious uh, that <laughs> that should be going on in Congress. But I would let them invest in mutual funds, professionally managed mutual funds and index funds. Okay. And if they're not happy with uh, their little 10 to 12 percent a year return that everybody else gets by just following the market, then so what? They can boo and cry about it. Right. But that should be enough for them. What the average American takes advantage of when it comes to the market should be enough for these lawmakers. OK, it should be enough. But what shouldn't happen is what's happening with Nancy Pelosi. Right. Where Nancy Pelosi will make trades before certain legislation passed that benefits uh, those companies that she is trading off of or her husband is trading off of. Put it that way. Right. And then everybody turns a blind eye to it because there's no real accountability or oversight. So you should just ban it outright. Just ban it outright. Just mutual funds and index funds. <laughs> That's it. The report comes. As insiders conflicted, Congress uh, project revealed that uh, 52 congressional lawmakers and 182 senior congressional uh, staffers had infringed on the Stock Act and Obama era law crafted to clamp down on insider trading and defend against conflicts of interest. McCarthy ranks among federal lawmakers who have voluntarily abstained from trading individual stocks, according to an individual analysis of congressional financial disclosures. Yeah, so that adds a lot more credibility to what McCarthy's saying, because if he doesn't trade any individual stocks, that means that him banning people from trading individual stocks doesn't really affect him all that much, right? Which gives him more incentive to do it <laughs> because he's not financially affected by it. His statement to Punchbowl's News represents a huge contrast to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who last month publicly defended the practice after insider Brian Metzger asked if she would support a stock trading ban for members at a press conference. Quote, we are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that, the veteran California Democrat said at the time when Pelosi was asked about conflicted uh, Congress insiders five-month investigation into lawmakers' financial conflicts of interest. She indicated that she had not uh, yet reviewed the body of work, which is a damn shame. Again, considering how she's running the House, okay? Uh, Democrats, including Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York, have endorsed stock trading bans. Senator John Ossoff, a Democrat from Georgia, is also preparing to introduce legislation that will ban members of Congress and their spouses from trading uh, the individual stocks of corporations, many of which spend significant amounts of money lobbying the federal government and buy for lucrative government contracts. A proposed bill that will end trades among members, the Ban Conflicted Trading Act, was introduced in the Senate last year as four lawmakers, including Jeff uh, Merkley of Oregon and Georgia's other freshman senator, Raphael Warnock. A House version is backed by Ocasio-Cortez and Cloud, along with additional members from both parties. Yeah, so... That proposal right there, the Ban Conflicted Trading Act, that doesn't go far enough, right? That wouldn't really affect Pelosi all that much because Paul Pelosi is the one that's actually uh, making the trades. Uh, what would affect Pelosi is actually John Ossoff's proposal in which he's saying that they want to ban uh, individual Congress members from trading and their spouses, right? That would shut down the Pelosi hedge fund. That would shut down the Pelosi hedge fund. And in my opinion, that is what needs to happen. And I find it very, very interesting and encouraging that um, banning individuals in Congress from trading stocks is actually bipartisan. That means that there is somewhat of a chance that this might get done, even though, again, I wouldn't hold my breath on it, okay, because a lot of these politicians are corrupt and they'll come out here and say this stuff, but they won't actually really put in the effort to get the legislation passed. But it is good to see. Uh, somebody like uh, Kevin McCarthy, who is the leader of the Republicans in the House, coming out and saying that, hey, I might consider 
banning individuals from trading stocks, right? And that he's not doing that himself in Congress, which is good, which is good, okay? And then you also have, again, progressive Democrats, other Democrats that have come out and, and supported that as well too. If both parties can get behind it, it definitely can happen, right? Which would be a huge slap in the face to Pelosi. But I mean, she's retiring, so it really won't affect her all that much moving forward. But still, it just kind of shows you how much of a backlash there is against Pelosi in Congress and the corruption, the overt corruption from Nancy Pelosi, right? Where you have Democrats and Republicans both coming out after she made that controversial statement about trading, basically saying, you know what, maybe we shouldn't allow you to do this, right? Maybe the corruption is just too upfront. Maybe it's just too in people's faces and we should not be allowing this to happen, right? So in my opinion, I, I think that this is a F you to Pelosi. I think that's kind of what it is more than anything for uh, both sides to come out against this. So I hope that this happens, right? And if this happens and also maybe we can get term limits, maybe we can turn around what's going on in Congress, right? Maybe we'll have less corruption and more honest politicians that are actually working for the American people. But again, I wouldn't hold my breath on it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.